Welcome back to Who Shows. Uh, just a quick update today. Uh, the uh, NFT system has been left to its own devices for a little while as I've been a bit busy over the holiday season. Um, I've been putting together a rather long video and uh, it's just been a bit hectic. My dad's actually been closing in our carport for us to create um, a shed space and uh, yeah, let's have a look at how the NFT system's going. So the pumpkin's still going a little bit nuts, even though I uh, cut it back probably about two weeks ago. Um, also, I removed some of the roots from the end of uh, some of the NFT rails uh, just because uh, they were actually forcing the end caps off and um, letting some water escape from the top. I actually lost a few of the pumpkins uh, that were forming uh, purely because there wasn't enough, uh, well, I, I believe it was, uh, there wasn't enough potassium in the system. Um, so I upped the amount of potassium and I also upped the amount of calcium uh, just to give the uh, fruits some more nutrients. Let's have a look at the tomatillos. So I've actually moved the ducks into a larger enclosure. Um, so I'll be getting rid of this fairly soon. Um, and they're playing around with the chickens in uh, the little pond that I've made for them. Uh, so these are the tomatillos. Um, they're going pretty good, actually. Um, uh, those and the okra have uh, gotten a bit out of hand in the NFT rails. Um, I didn't realize that they'd be such large plants. Um, they've got fruits forming on them. And uh, apart from some um, leaf curl, uh, which I think was from a pH uh, issue that I had in the system when I was away over Christmas um, and unable to monitor it, uh, they're doing really well. Now, before um, planting okra, I actually had no idea what it looked like. Actually, the same goes for the tomatillos. Um, I've only figured out what they are since they started fruiting and the tomatillos are pretty unmistakable in their fruit. So um, I'm not sure how they, big these plants get. They've actually reached the height of my shade cloth and um, hopefully they will top out at that height, but I doubt it. Um, they seem to be standing up just fine in the rail system. Um, I've got pool noodles on some and others are just standing straight up in the... Um, the puck system, um, although I probably will change that to a pool noodle, but it just shows how versatile that system is. I'm really keen to see what kind of uh, fruiting these guys do. Um, I have no experience with them whatsoever. I haven't even eaten okra before, so um, I hear they're good cooked on a fry pan. We'll see. A lot of my tomatoes haven't gone so well. Um, I think it was due to a, a pH imbalance and a um, nutrient imbalance as well. Uh, they have bounced back since I've got the nutrients all fixed and the pH is back stable. But that hasn't been the only problem I've had in the system. Um, pests. Um, I just lost a flower then. But... These eggplants have just been riddled with pests, and um, I I don't like using pesticides, but I, I think I might have to with these guys, um, just because all of the fruit has been uh, infected that we've had so far, and uh, they're just not doing so great. The the plant is doing fine with the nutrients. It's just um, I just it's just getting absolutely just decimated. Anyway. That's not the only pest problem that I've had in the system. And I'll show you the, um, the really annoying one. Now this um, is powdery mildew, I am fairly certain. Um, but that's not even the most annoying thing that's been attacking my plants. Uh, if we look behind. Now in here, someone's had a feast. And that is some tomatoes as well as um, peppers that I've been growing. Now, I've actually removed a lot of the damaged peppers, but you can see here rodents have been getting in um, and just 
eating all of my stuff. <laughs> uh, and I just, I don't know what to do about that. Like, uh, I'm, I live in the bush. So this tomato plant was, has been weird from the start. Um, but at least she's given me a couple of juicy tomatoes. Mm. Juicy. And to add to the list of problems, I'm sure you're sick of hearing about them by now. Uh, who would have thought that fruits can get sunburn? Um, in fact, in one of my previous videos, I actually diagnosed uh, blossom end rot as sunburn. Uh, sorry, the other way around. I actually diagnosed sunburn as blossom end rot. Uh, most of it was blossom end rot, but the sunburn looks like this. And, you know, why not add another to the list? These guys are infesting my capsicum. So at least the system is feeding not just me, but a whole ecosystem of pests. <laughs> uh, uh. So there you have it, guys. That's my NFT system pest problem. It's productive and everyone's enjoying it. That's what you get for living in the bush.